Hey guys, welcome back. So today I thought I would do something a little bit different. Uh, I always make guitar videos because I'm a complete guitar junkie. Uh, but I just recently started getting into really good quality amps um, as I'm starting to you know, take lessons and try to learn how to play. Uh, I've always just had, you know, uh, like katanas and and uh, I, had a, I have an old 1998 Marshall combo, which is really, really nice, but it's kind of older. And so I've always wanted something that was kind of a more of a modern day amp, tube, uh, all tube, um, and that had, had lots of flexibility uh, because I just don't have the space for, you know, racks and racks of amps to have you know, a Marshall and a Fender and, um, you know, a Tone King, a Magnatone, a Soldano, a, who knows, you know, all, all the different great amps that are out there just don't have room or the money for it. And so this brand, uh, Synergy, I just learned about recently and started doing some research on them and really impressed and really excited about this. So I didn't do an unboxing just because I think unboxing videos are kind of boring. Um, and for demo, I'm going to link to uh, Henning's channel, HP48. He did an amazing job demoing almost every module that Synergy makes and comparing it to the original amps. And I was going to do a, a demo video, but I just thought, you know, I can't compare to every amp because I don't own every amp like he does. Like he's literally got all the original amps that Soldano bases these modules off of. So he could do an AB comparison for you. Um, I can't do that. Now I, I've bought some modules of course, and I will do sound tests in uh, future videos. But I thought what I would do today uh, is actually just open it up and take a look inside it at how it's made and, and how they do the modules and things like that for those of you that maybe not as familiar with the company itself. Uh, you know, so we'll let, we'll let Henning handle the, the tone tests and we're going to talk a little bit about why I think this is probably the most flexible tube-based amp out there today. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up while we kind of go through some of this. So, you know, obviously with digital amps, you can get, you know, every amp in, in a box. You know, a katana can do, you know, almost everything. Um, you know, the Boss GT1000 pedals and helixes and head rushes and there's all kinds of modeling amps, you know, Kempers and, and uh, uh, what's the, the new one that everybody's talking about now? The, um, not the, Axe effects, but the quad cortex, you know, stuff like that. But as far as like real tube amps, you kind of have always been in the position where you just kind of had to have one of everything. And I just don't have room or the money for that. I, I, I do have a Marshall combo. I've got a Fender Deluxe. I've got, you know, katanas and things, but I'm running out of space. I, I have a small place here. So to have racks of amps is just not possible for me. So how do I get a t get all the tube amps that I want without having to spend ten to $15,000 and take up tons of space in my, my house? And that's exactly what Synergy is for. Uh, so if you've got limited space and limited funds, but you want to have like one of every tube amp out there, Synergy is the way to go. Now, why is Synergy different? Because other people have tried to do this before. Bruce Ignator was kind of the originator of this whole technology. And Randall tried to do it. Um, and it's just never taken off. And why I think it's different this time is Synergy is actually a cooperation between some of the biggest amp builders in the world. Uh, Dave Friedman, Bruce Ignator, Stephen Fryette, Mike Soldano, Joe Morgan, um, the guys from Tone King, Angle, Diesel, they're all part of this. Brian Wampler, like there's some huge, huge guys and companies that are involved in this um, brand. Uh, it's all under an umbrella called Boutique Amp Distribution and Synergy is, is part of that. And so they've, they've just got a whole different set of resources this time than they ever had in the, in the past. You know, they've got, they're not trying to make a knockoff versions of these anymore for like Brian Soldano was not Brian Soldano Mike Soldano <laughs> was saying when he uh was making the Soldano preamp for this he was actually the one designing the preamp for Synergy uh this wasn't some third party trying to create a Soldano like module Brian, uh, Mike Soldano himself did it uh 
Dave Friedman is the one who designed the Friedman modules for this. And they were saying in an interview that they just basically took the preamp sections of their actual amps and shrunk them down. Um, they're all tube based. And so these are actually from the original amp designers. Um, so when you buy these, like the original amp designers getting credit for it, it's not somebody stealing their designs. And you know that it's being done the right way. It's not somebody else's version of a, you know, Friedman Brown Eye. It's actually Dave Friedman that's doing it. It's not somebody's version of the Morgan. It's Joe Morgan doing it. And so I think it's really different this time that you're really getting tube-based preamp modules that sound like the original. And, and when you if you take the time to click on the link that I'll put in the video for um, Henning's channel, he has the original amps there, like I said, and he did a side-by-side -side comparison with them. And he was really impressed that he's like, you know, if I closed my eyes, I couldn't tell you which one was the Synergy module and which one was the original amp. And it makes sense when you consider that the original amp designers are the ones doing this. Uh, the only ones that are not are like, you know, when they do the Fender module, obviously Fender is not part of Synergy and not part of Boutique Amps. So when you get like the, the Fender modules for these, that's their version of it. It's not Fender designing it. But the fact that you've got, you know, 10 of the biggest amp designers of all time working together, chances are pretty good you're going to get a good quality module that sounds like the original amps. And I have to say, from the videos that I saw from... Henning, I mean, even the Fender and the Marshall versions sound amazing. All right, so I'm going to pick this up. This thing weighs a ton. This is the 50-watt uh, version with, with two modules in it. And I guess I should show you the front first before I start from around the back. So this is the, the front of it. I've got two modules in here already. This thing weighs probably 30 or 40 pounds. Like, it is all tubes and transformers in here. And to... Take these out, you know, there's a million videos online, so we don't need to do a lot of this, but there's just two little screws, and it just slides out of these little modules. So this is the preamp. The preamp, each amp designer uh, did their own, and for the ones that were not like this is a Dumble, they collaborated together to come up with what they felt was the uh, closest representation of the original. And if I open these up, See if I can open this up quickly on camera for you. These just have two little screws on the modules, and I probably need a smaller screwdriver for this. But these are powered by 12x7, so each preamp has two 12x7 tubes in there, and then the head itself has uh, 6L6s in the power section and 12x7s in the power section as well. So it's all tube based, and but each preamp is all you really need to buy. So each preamp costs about between like three hundred fifty and four hundred dollars, depending on if you get them on sale or not. Um, and then the head is about this. This one's about fifteen hundred. I got it on a Black Friday sale for twelve hundred. And then they have a smaller thirty watt version if you don't need uh, the two. Uh, module openings, you just need one. They have a smaller one that's 30 watt that's a little bit uh, more affordable. So here's the inside of the preamp module. So each preamp, whether you get the Marshall Plexi, the Dumble, the Fender, the Friedman, the, the Soldano, they look very similar as far as layout. They've got two 12x7 tubes in them. What I will say is interesting though is when you open up each one, they don't always use the exact same brand of 12x7s in every module. And uh, Dave Friedman was saying the reason for that is that they actually test every tube and they try to find the ones that they feel are biased and sound the closest to the original amp. So they're all 12AX7s, uh, even if the original amp had, you know, EL84s or 34s or something in it, they still use the 12AX7s, but they spend a lot of time making sure they're getting the right ones that gives you the right sounds. And then the circuit boards, again, is all the diodes and everything are done by the original amp designers to make it sound like the originals. The other cool thing is you don't have to manually bias the tubes when you swap these out. Number one, you can hot swap them. You don't have to power off the, the head. You can pop these out and pop them in anytime you want. 
and they automatically rebias themselves. It, it reads the chip until and it knows exactly which module you put in, and it will rebias the power tubes, the six L sixes in here, uh, to get them to do what you want. And then what's also really interesting, I noticed inside, you know, you, you rarely ever have to have to do anything with these, but this switch right here is in case you actually have the old Randall uh, and Bruce Ignator modules, these are backwards compatible. So this little switch here switches from a single channel to dual channel. All of the Synergy preamps are dual channel. They all have two channels on them. The old Randalls and Ignators, I guess, were single channels. And so this gives you the ability to uh, switch so that when you put them in, it knows if it's a single channel or dual channel module that you're putting in. And then the other one here is for uh, manually altering the resistor settings. So for each module, they send you this little write-up about it. This one here is for the Friedman uh, Brown Eye and Buxom Betty module. And it tells you everything about the module that you want. And then at the bottom, it kind of mentions that there's three settings that you can manually override the resistors, but they preset it from the factory where the original amp designer felt it should be. So Dave Friedman sets it the way he wants for his, Mike Soldano sets it the way he wants for his, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so real cool. And um, what's also really interesting is when Synergy, or I guess it was Boutique Amps, the parent company, was formed with all these different amp designers together, one of the reasons that they started the company long before Synergy was even a thing was because they wanted to be able to dictate how the tubes were made for their individual amp brands. And that was really difficult to do when you've got Marshall and Fender and Orange and you know huge amp companies like this that are dominating the market. The smaller boutique amp builders like Tone King and Joe Morgan and Dave Friedman, um, they, they couldn't compete with that. Like, you know, like we couldn't order thousands of tubes and prepay for them in order to have them biased and built exactly the way we want. But now that they're all working together as a group, now they're as big as some of these other amp brands and they're, they're now able to private label. So you'll notice in some of these, in fact, I think it'll be inside the head when I, when I open this up, Let's see if I can get the back off here, um, that they actually have tubes that are brand named Boutique. You know, it, and I can't remember who's private label, it might be JJ, but they're having a tube manufacturer make tubes specifically for Boutique amps now. And so here on the inside, of this, hold it up to the camera and hopefully you'll be able to see well enough. So there's two huge transformers in here and then there's two 6L6s and, and three uh, 12AX7s. And if you can notice there, you see the B and it says boutique. Those are uh, cathode tubes that were made specifically for boutique. And I believe they started with the, the Synergy. I don't know if Soldano and Friedman and Morgan and all those guys are are using the boutique um, tubes yet, but I did see an interview with Stephen Fryette and Bruce Ignator and Dave Friedman, and they all mentioned that um, they're able to order the tubes the way they want now. So I, I imagine you're gonna start seeing the boutique branded tubes in all the amps that are part of the boutique amp family now, uh, because they don't just have to buy off the shelf you know, JJ's or um, what's the other, what's the Russian one? Is it Sovtech, something like that? Or Rubies or any of those types of things. They can now design the tubes the way they want with the quality that they want, uh, the quantities that they want. And uh, so they're, they're just a lot more customizable now. And that was one of the, the whole reasons that they designed, that they came up with the boutique amp company in the first place. Um, so really, really cool. And now, you are able to buy for, like I said, it's about $1,500 if it's not on sale. If you get them on a Black Friday sale, you can get these for about $1,200. The 30-watt version, you can get on sale for about $1,100. They're normally $1,300. So it's not cheap to get started, uh, for sure. And each module is, you know, three to $400. But if you think about, like, if I was going to buy a Marshall Plexi, a Deluxe Reverb, um, you know, a Soldano, a Tone King, you know, a... Uh, uh, a Mesa Boogie, if you're gonna have a selection of five or six different amps, you can easily spend 10, 15 grand in a hurry. Whereas with Synergy now, I can buy five or six modules of those amps 
And with the head and all the amps combined, I'm like less than $3,000. So, and, and it takes up a lot less space. I mean, each of the, the modules, you know, comes in a little box like this. This is the um, Fender one. It's got a twin on the top and a deluxe reverb on the bottom. And that's it. Like you could have stacks of these on your bookshelf and you could have six, seven, eight amps and you're not taking up that much space and you're spending far less money than you would if you went and, went and bought all these. And like I said, when you see Henning's video, it's nearly impossible to tell the difference. Like they've done such a good job spending, taking so much attention to detail, making sure that they're getting every single um, tube and, and circuit correct to sound like the original amps that it's just amazing. The other th cool thing is that these are filled with, with all kinds of features. So if you look on the back here, it has an effects loop and it's actually the same effects loop they were saying that Dave Friedman designs for his amps. And he's got the boost circuit on here so you can boost your effects loops, high to low signal. It's got XLR out so you can go straight to your DI. And with the XLR, it's got cab simulation built in. It's I think they said it was based off of a slash Marshall 4x12, but you can also bypass it if you want to use your own cab simulations. Uh, it's got ground lift and it's got a 20 decibel cut uh, in case you're, uh, you know, you're clipping uh, with your output. It has a variable setting for your speakers, four, eight, or 16 ohms, two speaker outputs, so you can send it to two different cabinets. It's got MIDI built in, so you can you know control all the channel switching and um, different features like that. And it has a through, so you can have a, a chain of MIDI pedals. And then of course, you know, the inputs. And it's so well made. This is there, none of this is particle board. I don't. It's probably hard to see, but the whole thing is made out of solid Baltic birch, the same wood that they used to make uh, the Friedman cabinets. Dave was saying. And then on the front, again, this is the the two module version, so it's going to be slightly different if you get the thirty um, watt version. But so you've got the input and the channel selector, and then the two modules, and each module is obviously a little bit different, so we'll talk about those separately. And then there's a master uh, density control, which is kind of like the low end, a presence control, which obviously is the, the more of the high end frequencies, a master, and then of course you have your standby switch and your power switch. The one thing I thought was kind of odd is on the 30 watt version, the standby switch also has a silent mode, so you can just go straight out the DI and, and bypass the speaker altogether, whereas with the 50 watt, they don't do that, so you'll need an attenuator like a Captor X or a a Tone King Iron Man or something like that if you want to uh, do silent recording. But really, really well made and just super easy to, to swap each of these modules in and out. And as of right now, I think they have something like 20 modules. I mean, just tons of stuff. They got Plexis, they've got JCM 800s, they've got the obviously the Soldano. Uh, Dave Friedman has like three different modules for the Buxom Betty and the Brown Eye and the Dirty Shirley, um, Joe Morgan. So there's, I think there's 20 something, Angle Powerball, um, the Mesa Boogie uh, 2C, and just so many, and there's more coming. They said, you know, they're coming out with new ones every year. Um, so if the, if the amp that you've been dreaming of having a module for isn't out yet, it's gotta be only a matter of time until Synergy comes up with one. So it's just really encouraging and exciting for the future that finally it's attainable that you could get all your favorite amps in tube form, not some digital representation through a Kemper or a Helix or something like that. You can actually get the tubes made by this collection of some of the biggest amp builders ever. They're all working together to make this as good as possible. And so finally, I think it's gonna take off. You know. Bruce Ignator had a great idea back when he came up with this, and Randall tried to get it off the ground, but they just couldn't make it work. But now that they're all working together, I think this is actually going to work this time. And I'm really excited for the future of being able to, um, you know, maybe every year I can save up and get two or three new modules. And I would never be able to buy two or three new amps every year. So really exciting to be able to, to have access to all these really cool amps now. Um, so anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I highly encourage you to go to Henning's channel 
and watch all the demos that he did on each of these modules to see if this might fit uh, your needs. You know, obviously if you have the space and the money to have the original amps of all these, go for it. You know, if you're a professional musician, I mean, I would love to have an original Soldano SLO 100. I would love to have an original, you know, Friedman, Dirty Shirley, and Plexi and all these, but I just don't have the, the money or the space. So this is kind of a dream come true for me that I can finally get into the tube world, not have to do digital emulations anymore and get the stuff right from a really awesome company uh, that I'm really impressed with. So be looking forward in, in pretty much all my future videos. Um, this will probably be the amp that I'm gonna be using. Um, I will always let you know which module I have plugged in. Occasionally I might still go back and use, I still have an old Marshall combo and a Fender Deluxe and, and a Katana and stuff. So I, I still may use those occasionally for some videos. But when I finally start doing some of my demos with my guitars and pedals and things like that, uh, this is the amp that I'm gonna be using for probably 90% of those videos. So if, again, if you have any questions, please let me know. But otherwise, I uh, hope you guys have a great week, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye.